Hi everyone, Terry Lively here from the House of Art. Coming to you really quick today with some cool new stuff I got in. You know me, I'm always trying new things, having fun, trying to help you out with a little bit of information on everything that's out there. So let's go check it out. Okay, first of all, I want you to know that this is just going to be a quick video today because I've got a client coming in in a second, actually in a few minutes, and I get have to get everything set up, but I wanted to show you something uh, I found. Remember last week or a couple weeks ago, I did a review on the Bishop Rotary. This is the B6, and I don't know if you remember me telling you, but this part of the machine when I was using it with the disposable grips was pretty heavy. And it was, you know, when I would hold the machine doing an eyeliner, it was pulling back on my hand. So this machine only weighs 3.8 ounces. It's still a lightweight machine, but for some reason it felt really heavy to me. So I thought I'd go on the hunt, uh, try to find some dispo or try to find some stainless grips that would work for cartridges. And I found something. I have ordered needles from this company, T Tech. And come to find out, they have stainless grips that are made for cartridge needles. And so I've got one set up here on my Bishop Magi. You guys know how much I love this machine, right? I talk about it all the time. And then I set another one up on my V6 Bishop. And you can see these little cartridges, let me do it this way, just pop out. So during the procedure, you can change out needles if you need to. And being stainless, this is going to be really cool because this weight up here is going to help balance out the weight on my hands. So I'm going to try them out today. I've got a client coming in. She's a touch up on a breast reconstruction tattoo, nipple tattoo. And uh, I'm going to wrap everything up here with my bar barrier film, set everything up for her. She'll be here in about 30 minutes. And later on, I'll post a video, uh, an addition to this video rather, and let you know how it worked out. Uh, I think I'm going to set up both machines, both the Magi and the V6, and see how it works. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, I'm back everybody after the end of the day of working. Um, I told you I was going to try out these new stainless grips for cartridges. And I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. First of all... I tried it with my Magi, and if you'll notice, the Magi comes with the push bar. It comes with two lengths, actually. One is just a little bit longer than the other, and you tighten these push bars in with this little bitty screw here, so make sure you do that. Um, but when I put this grip on and set up for my client and started working with it, um, you know, I had the needle where it goes in here. I found that it was bogging down and the needle just completely quit working. Uh, it, quit, it quit, the machine quit working. So obviously I stopped everything and thank goodness I had my Bishop set up with the same, uh, the other grip I had purchased, the same setup. Uh, so what I figured is these are the push bars that come with these stainless grips. And if you notice, there's a huge difference in the length. So being that this has a loop on it and the Magi isn't set up to take a loop type push bar, you're gonna have to use a machine that is set up for a loop push bar. Kind of like a regular coil machine, if you will. So you pretty much have to use the push bars that come with these stainless grips from T-Tech. When I picked up the Bishop and started working with it today on my client, it worked like a dream. Uh, I didn't feel the weight back here, it balanced everything out. The uh, machine was really quiet, the needles that I, were use I was using, I was using uh, needles made by needle jig and they worked really well and my shading came out really nice so i'm really happy with that i purchased these because now i can use my bishop more comfortably 
overall, the two together was, you know, I mean, it's a pretty heavy weight, but again, it's not so much the weight that bothers your hands at the end of the day, it's everything being more in balance. And if you have a good balance set up, even weight on both sides, then you're gonna have less uh, fatigue for your hands. So that works out well. For those of you who are in love with the Magi and want a good grip, the best ones I've found are the ones from Dark Lab. You can get these through fkirons.com and they're called the RPG2s. Can you see that? Let me get it. There you go. And these are disposable. Dark Lab makes them. They're disposable, single use, so you don't have to have an autoclave. Obviously, with these, you have to have an autoclave because everything is contaminated at the end of your procedure. I really like these Dark Lab grips, even though they're huge, they're big and chunky, they're just very comfortable. And they do absorb some vibration in the from the different machines that I've used them on. So they're pretty reasonable. I think they're like $3 each, two, $3 each. And they come with their own push bar. Each one is sterilized. And you throw them away after each, after each use. So that's it for the day. Always learning, always trying new things here at the House of Art. If you have anything you'd like us to check out, any machines, we're always looking for an excuse to buy a new machine. I do have a Vivace coming in this week, made by, oh my God, I'm going blank. I'll put it up at the top in a minute. I'll go home and uh, when I edit this video. But anyway, I have a new machine coming in this week. I'm gonna try it, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, as soon as I try it out, I'll do a review on it and tell you what I find out. Okay, have a great day, talk to you later.